Hi, I'm Joe Hutchings, and this is my complete quick start guide to Cakewalk. When you open Cakewalk, the start screen appears. Click on the recent projects tab to see the projects you last opened. Then double click on a project to open it. Click on the Demo Projects tab to see the BandLab demo projects. Then double click on a demo project to open it. To create a new project, click on the New Project tab. Then click on Basic. The screen is now split into six sections. The Tracks pane is where you add or remove tracks. Here we have an audio track, which is for vocals, guitars and samples, and a MIDI track, which is used to record MIDI notes from a MIDI keyboard. To add another audio track, click on Insert, and click on Audio Track. To add another MIDI track, click on Insert, and click on MIDI Track. The Browse pane shows all the virtual instruments and effects plugins. Click on the virtual instruments icon. Double click on the piano folder. Then drag the SI electric piano to the tracks pane to add an instrument track. and click on OK on the pop-up menu. The piano window will now open. You can play the virtual keyboard or your MIDI keyboard to hear the piano. Click on Default Prog. And double click on a name on the pop-up list to change the piano sound. The instrument track has been added to the tracks pane. The control bar has the transport controls. Play, stop, record, and back to the beginning of the song. Metronome controls. This icon turns the metronome on or off for when you are recording and tempo. Click here and type in a new tempo to change the speed of the metronome and your song. To record on an instrument track, press on the arm for recording icon on the track.
Then click on the record button. Play your MIDI keyboard. Then click on the stop button. If you don't have a MIDI keyboard, click on keyboard to open a virtual keyboard. Then either play the virtual keyboard or click on the computer keyboard icon and play the computer keys that are shown. Use the left and right arrow keys to change the octave of the keys. Your recording will appear in the Clips pane. After recording, click on the Arm for Recording button again. To record a vocal track, click on an audio track in the Tracks pane to select it. Then click on the input drop list in the track strip pane. And select your microphone input. Now click on the arm for recording button on the audio track. Then click on the record button and sing into your microphone. La la la. Then click on the stop button. Your recording will appear in the clips pane. La la la. To delete a clip, right mouse click on the clip. Click on Edit on the pop-up menu. Then click on Delete. If you delete a clip by mistake, click on Edit. Then click on Undo. To change the volume level of a track, click on the track in the Tracks pane. Then drag the knob on the volume slider of the track strip in the Track Strip pane. La la la. La la la. Or drag the knob on the volume slider of the bus strip to change the volume level of the whole project. La la la.
la la la. To save your project, click on File. Click on Save. Type in a name for your project. Then click on Save. Lastly, hover the mouse over any part of the screen to show a helpful description in the Help pane. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.